Good evening, everybody. This is Monday, November 19th, and it is 6 p.m., and it is our regular meeting for the New Fame Select Board. And we have Mike Fitzpatrick, Chris Williams, Shelley Huber, Gary Delius, Shannon Meckel, the administrative assistant, and Jay Wilson is here, the uh, road crew foreman. And I'm Marion Dowling. So the first thing we're doing is we're calling the meeting to order. And I would like to ask if anybody has an addition or amendment for tonight's meeting. <coughs> OK. Um, so we will go to the minutes. First, it's the New Fane Select Board Minutes regular meeting on November 5th. Is anybody who can um, accept, make a motion to accept make the Make a motion and accept okay. Second. Okay, any discussion on the minutes? Okay, all those in favor of accepting the minutes, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No, the minutes pass. The second um, set of minutes, for the same evening, Monday, November 5th, was for the Board of Liquor Control. And if anybody please can accept those minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, any discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Okay, those minutes are approved. Thank you. We also had the first of our um, several budget meetings, and that was on November 12th, Monday. Anybody, please? Motion um, to approve. Okay. Any second? Second. Any <coughs> discussion about an item or anything in the minutes, please? All those in favor accepting, please aye. say aye. Aye. I stay. I wasn't here. Okay. One abs abstention and for approvals, so the minutes pass. Thank you. Okay, we're up to Jay Wilson, Road Foreman, and Road Commissioner's Report. So we completed the tree work at the Wingsville Hall and waiting for a roofing company to look at the slate. Um, we did have a, one uh, roofing guy come look at it. And the building is too high for him to, with the equipment he has to get to it. So we're going to try to get somebody else that can go in and give us a surprise. There's a large dead oak tree um, up on the old common on the top of Newfane Hill that at some point this winter will be taken down. Um, he has to climb it to take it down and drop it in pieces. So um, We started plowing and sanding very early this year. I think we've been out seven times so far this year. Mm -hmm. Not Thanksgiving yet, but mm -hmm. not really that good. But. That's a lot already. Um, I have a meeting this week with Scott Jensen, the State River Engineer, to look at Lynch Bridge Riprap and the Hunter Brook Road. Um, the new Western Star was delayed again and is now on the fifth delivery date they've given us. They built it minus a few parts, pulled it outside, and now it's apparently on back into the factory to have the rest of the parts put back in and hopefully it'll get shipped up here. They think by the end of the month it should be here. Okay. Or at least it'll be, the chassis will be here, then it has to go to the body company. Mm -hmm. um, and I also have a meeting this week at Kinney Pond Dam with a dam inspector in the state to look at that. What exactly are you looking at up there? <laughs> They're trying to come up with a way to stabilize that dam going where the road itself is is the dam basically mm -hmm. so the plan is last I knew is to um, do a rock you know a large riprap mm -hmm. wall and fill it make the road a little wider there and they want guardrails and so forth and we'll see they've got to design it during the winter and then see how it goes okay that would be great if it's a little wider well, thank you for your report. Sure. Chris, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I think looking at that this time of year is sort of stupid because all you're going to look at is snow. Yeah, I think he needs to see it before he can design it or something. We did measurements for him, but he still wants to see it. You know, Jay was saying something last time, and I mentioned it, and I thought it didn't sound like too bad ideas. 
don't know what you think, but that was um, a catch basin right at the end of that culvert coming out of the dam to drop the water to the bottom of the culvert out. That way you can backfill all the way around that whole thing. You know, with a grate and everything yeah. on the top. As long as the stuff didn't get in there. All right. Okay. But I said that might be a good solution. That way you wouldn't have the water splashing up against the bank and all that too, you know? Yeah. Is that like a protective, like? Yeah, it's a big mantle. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. With a great drain, and then the culvert would come uh -huh. out the bottom. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That way the water would drop down and go out and right. then you backfill right around the whole thing. And like a glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> and you could put a grate on top so then road water would go into that too, you know? Mm -hmm. That way you could widen the road and then and went and rode. Yeah. Who was the inspector? Ben, uh, ben Green, I think his name was in the state. Oh, okay. motion, motion to accept. Okay. Any Second. Second. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor of accepting the road formats? Report, please say aye. 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 No opposition. Thank you, Jay. Thanks for everything and for all the work the uh, road crew is doing. I know this is just the beginning of many months of working a lot of extra hours, but we so appreciate you and the guys. Okay, administrative assistance report. Shannon, please. Uh, the property that the town was sponsoring for the bank stabilization project was sold. Uh, the new owner is not interested in continuing with the program, um, mostly financial, because they just bought a house and they're not sure they're going to have money for the match, which is probably wise. So um, they're going to hold off. They understand that they can revisit it later, but that the money may not still be available. So uh -huh. um, for now, that's on hold. Um, the grant committee, which is made up of Jay, Mike, and I, for the box culvert grant met to review the engineering proposals. We made two recommendations to the state, sort of a first and second choice. They're reviewing all of the proposals and will get back, back to me this week um, with their approval. And I'm continuing to update the draft budget as new numbers come in and requests come in. So I'll have a new draft for you at next week's meeting. Thank you. Look slightly more full than the first draft. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Huh? Or depleted. Oh, yeah. bigger numbers. How's that? Oh. <laughs> okay. Motion to accept Shannon's report, please. So move. Okay. So Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Okay, thank you, Shannon, and the, your report has been approved. Next is unscheduled members of the public. <laughs> and we're looking around and we don't see anybody. Okay, I'm sorry. We are down. The next item is scheduled members of the public, and that um, states that Williamsville Hall Committee is supposed to be here. Is that correct? I understood that they were, but it's early. Yeah, it's only two yeah. after. It's early. Eight so <laughs> we'll move along and see if anybody shows up. That'll be good. And the same for old business, which is traffic calming, and so far nobody's here. Right. Maybe they'll come in later. New business, school property. So, um, Mike, would you like to talk about that, please? Well, I don't know if there's really much to talk about, though, except that, you know, we were still talking about this whole thing where they joined forces with the districts, and that the school property, other towns actually turned over the property to the towns. And so, like, where we got the solar fields and all that stuff, that land that was purchased from the land club, <laughs> I would have thought it would have been the thing for the school board that would have turned that over to the town before they signed anything to do with the districts. Because now all the money and everything from the, well, I understand it, from the solar fields all goes to this district. And the town doesn't see any part of it. Has that um, happened already? Or well, I don't know. 
We I mean, that. that's what we was hoping maybe to have some of them come tonight that they could have asked them about mm -hmm. it. And, I mean, I, like I said, I don't see why, you know, our school board didn't, if there was a chance of turning that over, it should have been turned over. Because mm -hmm. that was the taxpayers, a new thing that voted to buy that. You know, taxpayers' money. And now they're losing out on it. I mean, you know, other towns, like I said, did turn their property over, all but like the building and mm -hmm. with the, you know, the bare necessities to it. Was that done um, in an easy manner that they did it, or did they come in front yeah. of the select board? Or they, no. No, they just chose to hand it over without any prompting? Yeah, they just deeded it over to the town. They bought the land without anything. They spent 92, the school board spent 90, oh, nine, this one, right. 92 thousand for that. Yeah, Land. that's for this. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody voted on it. They just did it. See, like the other towns, some of the other towns, they had land donated to them and different things like that. Mm -hmm. Instead of letting it go to the schools, they turned it all over to the town. Right. Well, I know that um, Shannon did um, reach out to a member of the school board to please ask to join the meeting here tonight. Unfortunately, we haven't heard from that person. I did talk to Putney today. Oh, you did. I did. Um, it was a it was a town forest that they had that the, the school owned the forest. Um, they wanted it protected when they all merged the school mm -hmm. districts, so that that land couldn't a be possibly used for some other purpose, mm -hmm. and b would always be a forest that the kids could use for education and you know hiking and that kind of thing. So they deeded it to the town. And they're now creating a nonprofit organization, sort of a protection organization that it will eventually end up there. So that it will, and there's an agreement that says the school can always use it for that purpose. Um, so it's still in process. <coughs> they haven't done that organization yet, but they're in working on it. So the town currently owns it, and then eventually it will belong to this nonprofit sort of protection. I mean, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. I mean, would it be possible? <clears throat> well, it's possible, but um, would it make sense, <clears throat> excuse me, to reach out to the uh, school district rather than just to the school board? Yeah. It's possible. I mean, we, we don't even know if anything is happening. No, we don't. I mean, that's what I say. You never hear nothing about it. Do they have um, uh, minutes of their meetings? I think you have to go on the Wyndham Central website to find them. Uh-huh. I don't believe they're on the school <clears throat> website. I think they um, video they have some meetings too, don't they? Uh, yeah, some of them. them. High yeah. school at least. The, the um, I think the new unified district is televised. Mm -hmm. Well, what if, if, if we contact the school district? Yeah. Would that be good? Yeah, I'll make some calls and see. I mean, it's it's upsetting that we never know what goes on. We've discussed this several times in the last many years that um, we should have communication with the school board, and and we don't for some reason. Well, they run as a separate entity, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. They do, but. Still the same pocket. It's, I mean, in the end, it's all the same voters. The money where you're yes. coming out of the same yeah. pocket no matter how you do it. Right, right, mm -hmm. right exactly. One did what the other one was doing. Yeah. I think it's worth investigating um, to find out whether or not they've actually signed the papers right. for the property. And if, if they haven't, you know, maybe we can intercept, you know, and kind of create something for the town um, and see about re preserving some of that property. I make a motion to do that. To, um, to contact, contact the school. The school. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. And school board and investigate school. as to what mm -hmm. status they are in the ownership of the property of the school. I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion from the discussion around here? Do we know anything about how that the property was conveyed when the town bought the property? How did it convey it to the school? Do we know? Well, 
Club. And let's yeah. let's yeah. note yeah. that yeah. it's yeah. the yeah. property adjacent yeah. to yeah. the this school building daughter. that we're talking okay. about. Yeah. So it's either the school. Right. Chris has the D. And we're talking about the Lions, um, yeah. the Lions property that was sold yeah. to the school. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not the, the school building itself. No, no, this is just the Lions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would this be okay if Shannon could make a copy of this for us? Yeah. And it's All like, right, wait a second here. Yeah. Chris, how many acres was it? It was 12.5 or something? Something like that. We have it on record. I can't, it's a damn small. I can't. You want me to this? I can't see it. I think I read that over there. Oh. Um, containing 13.65 acres. Oh, is that the yeah. Okay, yeah, but I, I think there's another number. Copy of all. Yeah. The final number. And here's that here, 12.9. Yeah, that's the, the club shall sell to the New Fang Town School District a 12.9 acre parcel. Right. <coughs> here's, all, here's all the measurements of it right here. Yeah, that's what it is. So that says, shall convey to the uh, New Fang School District. District, yeah. 12.9 acres? Wait, let me just find that again. Um, to the New Fane Town School District, 12.9 acres of land adjacent to the elementary school. So it doesn't sound, it sound like that it was conveyed to the town at all. It was no. Directly to the school. <coughs> and what the other towns are doing is trying to fix that by yeah. trying to bring it all to the town. Anything out beyond, beyond the school building itself? anything, any properties they've acquired over the years, yeah. that's what they're trying to do, yeah. Well, if you don't mind if Shannon can make copies for this, of this, that would be useful. Is that okay, Shannon, mm -hmm. later on? Mm -hmm. Or before we leave, so Chris yeah. can take this home? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Give it to the owner. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll give it right back to you. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah, work. thank you. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it right here. And okay. for your meticulous record keeping. <laughs> yeah. Right. Is there any further discussion about them? Any more? Mm -hmm. Any more to say? No. Okay. No. So we had a motion. You brought a motion and a second. And could you remind me of the motion? Uh, I'm. I'm. Oh, to actually investigate the. Yes. You know. Yes. <laughs> And to contact the school district. That's what I got in the minutes to investigate, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff. Yeah. That stuff that we'll do. For the yeah. school uh, district and, and the school board. Investigate again. ownership of the land, see if it's an option for the town. So Thank you. Take it over for protection. There okay. Go. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No? Okay. So the motion passes and we will. Uh, investigate this and get in touch with them. Okay, second part of new business is the school, I'm sorry, South Newfane Williamsville Fire Department. And Shannon, you have a report about that? Mm -hmm. Actually, I have a letter. Um, I have a letter from the town attorney um, which she said was okay <clears throat> to read out loud in part. Okay. So um, I'll just read it, I guess. Um, I write to provide the select board with further information regarding possible resolution of the pending lawsuit. Um, sorry, my computer's trying to restart. I don't want it to. Um, I have had discussions with Greg Record of the Newbrook Volunteer Fire Association and Bob Fisher, attorney for South New Fane Williamsville Fire Company. Um, the South New Fane Williamsville Fire Company and New Fane Volunteer Fire Association 
have had discussions regarding the turning over of South Newfane Williamsville Fire Company Inc.'s assets to Newbrook Fo Volunteer Fire Association. As I understand it, this would include the fire station property in South Newfane, as well as the fire trucks and possibly whatever funds the South Newfane Williamsville Fire Company Inc. has in its bank account after it's dissolved. Their discussion and this possible resolution does not necessarily involve the town of Newfane, but the Newbrook Volunteer Fire Association Inc. has asked if I would assist with the legal work necessary to accomplish this. Since I already represent the town of Newfane and have noticed my appearance in the court case on behalf of the town of Newfane, I wanted to bring this to the select board's attention and get the select board's blessing as to my representation of Newbrook Volunteer Fire Association. I do not see that it would create any actual conflict of interest or potential conflict of interest by representing Newfane Volunteer Fire Association on such a transaction with South Newfane Williamsville Fire Company, but before I agree to do so, I wanted to make sure the select board has no objection and is comfortable with me being involved in the transaction. Thank you for reading that. Any discussion? Well, I have a question. I thought we were, it was by their um, board over in South Newfane that if they um, closed, that it would go to the town of Newfane. It would if um, if it ceased to be a fire department. Oh. But if they can just Move transfer it over okay. to Newbrook, gotcha. um, that would that sounds that like would a actually good idea. resolve the the lawsuit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And really, what the town would do with fire trucks, right. I have no idea. Right. So it just makes logical sense to be. That mm -hmm. is a good idea. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so I think so too. Well, I'll make a motion that we approve him doing it for the fire department. Too. Yeah, exactly. Self seconded. Second. Okay. Second. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor of approving, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say nay. Okay. So the motion has passed, Shannon, and you will get in touch with Yes, I'll let you know. Thank you so much for that. Hey, good That's a good evening. resolution. Mm -hmm. That's a good resolution. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for doing that, Shannon. Sure. Um, okay, well, welcome, Williamsville Hall Committee. We are moving very quickly tonight, yeah. and so it's great that you came early, earlier than what we said. Great. Okay, so Steve. Hi. Oh, we're on. You're up. You're on. Yeah. Oh, I've been waiting here. for you. And yeah, Myra, Steve wow. and yeah, Myra. Yeah. All right, very good. good time. Excellent. Jan, where would you like Steve to stand? Over there? Does it, it doesn't matter right now? Thank you. Okay. Everybody, thank you, Steve. Hi. Thank you. Where we're talking about Here. Here. Good to see everybody. Okay, so I put this spreadsheet together. Probably not the clearest spreadsheet, but by the time I get done, I think we'll understand. All the figures in here are uh, up to date as of today. So I got uh, current reports from Melissa. So we can start with the capital expense fund, which has the fourteen hundred, I mean fourteen thousand four hundred seventy-two dollars, and we still owe the balance for the foam insulators, which are uh, there came today. They'll be there tomorrow and finish up on Wednesday, and then we owe uh, Tom McLaughlin for the work on the windows, which will leave a balance of three thousand one hundred fifty-nine dollars twenty-six cents. As soon as the insulation is done, we can get the energy auditor in and he'll do his blowout test, I think they call it, and then we can get the efficiency of Vermont rebate, mm -hmm. which will be approximately $2,000, and it usually takes about 60 days from when he submits it. So the balance in the capital expense fund will be 
$5,159.26. So if you, I don't know, you want to talk about the roof now, we might as well, because it's a capital expense. So you know there's a leak. We had one roofer come out, uh, Jim Brow from Slade and Brow. Unfortunately, he doesn't, his ladders aren't tall enough, and he doesn't have insurance for three-story buildings. But he looked and he saw where there were some slates missing in the area where the leak is. And what I think we could do, and I know Jay was going to look at some bigger roofing companies uh, who can access the roof. And what I'd like to see <coughs> happen, Jim also, he looked over the roof and he saw places where there were some slates missing or cracked. but. He thought that if we fixed that spot, we would take care of the immediate problem and then have to think about, you know, putting money in the budget for capital expense to have someone go over the entire roof so we don't have this problem again. That's what I'd like to see happen. So with, uh, even with $3,159, we ought to be able to make this repair and then consider the next fiscal year about <coughs> taking care of the roof. So that would come out of the balance right now yeah, right. for capital okay. expense. Yeah. Which yeah. should be by February the 5100 because the energy auditor said usually take 60 days to get the money from Efficiency Vermont and mm -hmm. hopefully it will come back in December and do the test. <coughs> okay, so that's that part of this spreadsheet. Can I ask a question sure. as far as like the roofers? Who have you contacted for roofers? Uh, well, Jake contact quite a number. We got one roofer, uh, Slade and Brow, Jim Brow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's very good on Slade roofs. He works, he's done a lot of work at the uh, Timpson Hill School and actually on my house. Uh -huh. But he, he came and he looked, he said, I'm sorry, I I, my ladders won't reach and my insurance doesn't reach. I right. I realize they have to have well, Who else have you contacted? Uh, I left a message for AT Good Band. Was it that guy? No, it was the other one. Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Who's the guys up in Dumberston on that uh, on Route Five? I don't know. Right over roofing. Okay. Oh, right over a roofing. Yeah. 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 We had talked about um, what was the one today from uh, from Keen. Oh, um, Melanson. Melanson. Oh, Melanson. I've used before. Because of. Uh, they're bigger, they have bigger equipment, yeah. that they might be able to reach that easier. It, the problem is that the ground drops off so fast. On the back side. Yeah, yeah. yeah right beyond. Yeah. yeah. Right down. So it becomes Phoenix. Is Phoenix still working? Yeah, he does good work. I just don't know if he can get up there. Oh. Maybe. Uh -huh. Have you been able to get a hold of him? I, no, Shannon and I were talking today, and then we got busy, and I didn't get a chance to try Melanson and see. And Had you tried Phoenix roofing? Yeah, okay. that's what I just said. Oh, okay. I can, I can yeah. yeah. Shannon, who Those was it who worked on this roof? A.T. Goodband. Oh. Oh, yeah. But I suspect his is probably the same, that his insurance won't. Yeah. But it's, it's worth a try. Yeah. Because it is on the back side of the roof. Yeah. yeah well, well, you know, if or you go back, peak. by the time you get to the first window in the main hall, uh -huh. it's like three stories. Yeah. It just, mm -hmm. just drops right there. Yeah. Right. So it's a three-story job. So hopefully we'll get somebody soon and take care of that. So the second part of this is a little more complex, and it's the Williamsville Hall operating budget. So the first column is the amounts that were budgeted in this current fiscal year for electric heat, general expenses, and ground. The second column is what's been spent year to date for those expenditures. The next column is the balance in those funds with totals underneath. And then the last column is my estimate for what it will cost to operate the hall if we keep it open through December for the next seven months through the end of the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So. That's good. Yeah. We've got an estimate. Yeah, yeah. And they're, you know, they're based on some, not just, I didn't just pull them out of the air. You uh -huh. know, I did some figuring and calling and stuff. So the electric uh, is 700 Generally, the, the bill is about $50 a month. So I took the seven months and I added some to it. Now the heat, I talked to the rep from Osterman. And I asked him, what would it cost to heat this building to 45 degrees through the winter? And he thought it would take about 1,000 gallons of propane. 
and right now we're paying approximately two dollars a gallon. Uh, one bill was like a dollar ninety-eight. The next one was two oh two. So I'm figuring because we're not going to heat it just to uh, forty-five degrees. When there's activities, of course, we'll turn it up to sixty, maybe mm -hmm. sixty-five. You know, live it up. So I figured three thousand. Uh, I mean, sorry, fifteen hundred gallons. But we will get a credit from Osterman of uh, we get two hundred free gallons, and they haven't credited that to the town yet. So that's four hundred dollars. So that made the what would be uh, three thousand dollars for fifteen hundred gallons. It's only twenty six hundred dollars. If you follow, that. Okay. okay. The next is the next is general expenses. Like it includes the woman who comes in to clean, and it's really. Oh, there was you know, light bulbs or something. Yeah, supplies. Uh, yeah, supplies. So it's <coughs> put in 500. And the grounds is really Mark Gray shoveling. I spoke to Mark. He thought he could shovel the walkway, the stairs, the front stairs, the ramp, the, you know, the, uh, the ramp, and then also clear out 10 feet from the building from the lower uh, fire stairway. You know, that cellar level, so 10 feet away from the building, which according to Todd Lawley was sufficient. And there still may be a lot of snow, but if we had 10 foot cleared, people could get away from the building. So to clear those three areas, he thought it would take him three hours. He charges $27 an hour. And he thought, well, he looked it up. Last year he did uh, 15, uh, 15 times he cleared snow. So I based it on that. And it actually came, and it's, there's a little extra money in there. So that's so so I got twelve hundred and fifty dollars to clear the snow. So last year it wasn't open though, was it? No, but no. But, but just he, in general right, maintenance. Yeah, he yeah. looked at his record. And yeah. He cleared snow for people. It has to be done anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so the total for the estimate was five thousand fifty dollars. Okay. Then I went and I looked at what was in the whole fund. And actually I it's it is accurate as of today because I have um, money from the Rock River players from the September show and the uh, October show. That was uh, it was 300 from September and 380 from the next show, and then we raised 378 dollars from the Gumbo Fest. Mm. So I have those three amounts to deposit. So with what's in there now and those three uh, additional checks, there's. Forty-one hundred seventy-six dollars ninety-one cents, and then if we add in the balance that's in the four operating expenses, we get a total of five thousand eight hundred fifty-two dollars twenty-eight cents minus the cost. We leave a balance of eight hundred two twenty-eight. So there is surplus. yeah a surplus between what's in the Williamsville Hall donation fund now, what's in the town budget. Plus, we plan on continuing to have fundraisers through the winter. So if we just look at all of this, it looks to me as though we can't afford, with the donations from the hall fund, to keep the building open. And so, What's the hall fund? Oh, well, the, there's a, a one account, one line item in the budget. It's called the Williamsville Hall Donation Fund. Okay. And that's the money that the hall committee raises from fundraisers that people give to us, and that's that's where that money comes from. Remember, we said we used some of that money in the last time. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Used it, yeah, to pay. Uh, talk but that's like your own little nonprofit fund or something. It's not a town fund, is it? Well, the town manages it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, town manages it. And the it. thing about it, it does get rolled over at the end of the fiscal year. It doesn't go into general. Okay, so that was the balance from the last time. Yeah. 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 I'd like to ask a question mm -hmm. about this because I'm not yeah. very clear about it. Yeah, it's a little. Um, I know that, I mean, it, it sounds obviously you do a lot of work and you have, a, you want to preserve this building, which I think is great, and you have fundraisers and you have Rock River players. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, is what is the situation, for example, with the theater and the Rock River? Um, was there ever any agreement that 
of any kind that the mm -hmm. town would get some of those funds to put into the general fund to uh, take care of the Williamsville Hall? Uh, it was, yes. There was an agreement. There was an agreement between the Hall Committee and the Rock River Players that we would get a half of their profit. After their, you know, after their expenses. So the Rock River players, you're saying, is giving half, half of their profits to the Williamsville Hall oh, fund. fund. Okay. Are they? Does any of that go to the general fund yeah. for oh. the town of Newfane? Yeah. Only in the sense that the Hall committee, we take that fund and use it to help support the Hall. Yeah. The hall. Yeah. Directly. Okay. Yeah. Shannon, there was. Yes. You know, raise the at hand. one point about yeah. splitting that to cover operating expenses right. because they don't charge rent for the building yeah. on that. Yeah. We talked about that last year or the year before? Yeah. I think it was the year before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a and while ago, but I don't think it ever <clears throat> Yeah, never it never started. Yeah. yeah. I mean the money gets spent on the building anyway. Yeah. Yes. I, mean, I think yeah. at least I mean they've done a pretty good job putting some money back into it. And, mm -hmm. I think yeah, the biggest concern is that it's blocked off for yeah. three to four weeks at a time, and I get requests to rent it, and I can't. So then on top of it, then so the, town, coming. the town has the ability to rent it, too, for wedding yeah, receptions, et cetera. Et cetera. Yeah. And one thing now, you know, Annie Landenberger, when she started the Rock River Players, was very involved in it, and they had three big, like, main stage productions, and they blocked out three weeks, you know, Include rehearsal time and then clean up time and time for the shows, but that's not really happening anymore because Annie's not involved. So the shows are much smaller, and the time they use the building is more condensed. So I don't think um, it's as right up until this fall. It's been still three yeah, well, weeks they, at a time. Yeah, they had those two shows. Yeah. yeah. So, so it could continue that. Right? It's still quite a bit that I've had to turn people away yeah. for rentals. Huh. So if, if the town. Um, rents it, for example. I know that um, there are requests for weddings and other activities. It's mostly weddings, birthday parties. Yeah. And what what is the rental fee? It depends on what time of year it is and if they're residents or not. Right. I mean, okay, so what so for each of um, residents? If they're residents in the summer, it's $50. If they're not residents, I think it's 100 but I'm going off the top of my yeah. head here. So. Non Non residents, non residents are 100. And then um, after October 15th, I think, mm -hmm. it goes up to 100 and 150. Mm -hmm. So residents are 100, non are 150. Because of the heat. Right. Right. And you said <coughs> after when? October, October 15th. 15th. October yeah. 15th. So like March 15th? Or? Yeah, I'm, I'm going by yeah. memory. So. Mm -hmm. And that's if the building's yeah. open. Well, we have that. Or it right hasn't now. been in the past. It's, yeah. It hasn't been. Right. So, so what, okay, so they we know what they, what the Williamsville Hall is doing with their fund, mm -hmm. fundraising money. It's going into the building. What does the town do with the money that they collect when and if there are rentals? May not right, so that goes to offset heat, electric, yeah. um, Mark Gray, the general, yeah, you know, those all those the general operating. expenses that he, he listed, yeah. the rentals go to offset that. But it, it sounds like that you have, is this the town money that he's putting in the budget? In the, or second, money? the second section, the Williamsville Hall operating budget, that's town operating yeah. expenses that we budget. Okay. Right. Yeah, this okay. year so was 36. When I when you when we do the budget and we go through the expenses, when we're done, we do the income. Right. And we budget an amount to take in for rentals. I see. So we just need to be conscious <clears> of the fact that we're not meeting what we're budgeting. Okay. But if they're meeting partial amounts of that operating budget? Well, it comes up to them if they want to use that towards operating expenses or not. I mean. Yeah, we haven't previously because we haven't had to, although we spent money on the hall for improvements. But this year, you know, we're committed to seeing what happens if we keep the building open. Yeah. And so we're more than willing to take the money we have and put it towards operating mm -hmm. expenses. But the Winningsville um, Hall committee. committee is a committee of the town. Of yeah, course. we're part mm -hmm. of the select. So we're a committee of the select. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to commend you. I saw that you were doing the fundraiser and the, the and I wished I had been able to go, but I was sick. But um, 
Yeah, but I, good. Yeah. I also would yeah. request that we have a better budget to look at because it's a little confusing. But um, now that we cut in documentation saying who's doing um, what, like all in a packet, you know, like what the history has been and what the current budget is, um, it just makes it better, better sense to make decisions. Because it's everybody's memories, but not thing you know in a document. So Steve, that has your current budget. Yeah. yeah. So I'm so this okay. is the current budget. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. These numbers are are in the budget. Yeah. Okay. These that are all the town budgets, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Now right. the, the committee, how much do they have in their budget? Well, we have a balance as of today, four thousand one hundred seventy-six nine hundred. Right. And I remember, like when we said something, when we was doing all the budgeting for all the repairs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember, I made the thing that not to spend money on the repairs, to maybe use some of that towards some, some heat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think one yeah. such you like heat in the building. Yeah, I mean, we've gone and put a whole new furnace in it. They've done a lot of work to it. Yeah. I mean, I think sometimes things go to hell a lot quicker if they're not heated. Oh yeah. Yes. You right. know, I said it probably yeah. cost you a lot more than what it would cost mm -hmm. you that thousand dollars or two thousand bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And expenses over the years, you know, if it, you know, they've got a lot better furnace and everything there. Mm -hmm. And it'd yeah. be nice to see something like, I mean, I don't I like to see that building being used. I mean, yeah. I think they've done a great job with it. Yeah, right. I, I do Thank too, you. actually. Yeah, well, just talking to some people who have some ideas of things to do this winter. The Rock River players have some ideas about like running a coffee house. Somebody wants to put together a night of music of local musicians. So, you know, I think we'll, we'll you know, definitely use the building and we also plan to publicize the fact that you know the building is open to come and use it because mm -hmm. that forever people have always said if there's ever a time they want to use the hall it's in the winter so you know if we do this and publicize it and no one shows up well we'll think about maybe we'll think about it differently next year but I really would like to you know promote it and do it so, um, so one thing that I'm concerned about, and it's happened every single year. The bathroom doors are left open sometimes, and yeah. that's got to be dealt with mm -hmm. because that's where you run into spending a lot of money. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing is that if we're heating the whole building to 45 degrees, it won't be. You know, we actually there's four zones in the building. The kitchen, the ba four bathrooms, the main hall, and the downstairs, the lower level. Those are the four zones. And everything right now is set at 45 degrees. So you're, whole, you're heating the whole building? Yep, at the moment. Yeah. Which wow. is better for the boiler, and it's also better for the building. I remember years ago when we did a lot of renovations upstairs in the main hall, and it got plastered and you know, skim coated and painted, and it was beautiful. And then that winter came, yeah. and at the end of the winter, you went in and, you know, the cracks were all there because the building wasn't heated. So it's, you know, it's true, an old building or any building, you know, if you don't, it's better to keep it at some degree of heat than to let it freeze and defrost and freeze and defrost. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another issue I have to bring up. Yeah. Um, I know that um, we've talked about and actually um, we had to pay one of the people who rented the building, we had to pay them back for money they spent in cleaning up the building because it hadn't been cleaned. So what right now is the policy? And if there is a policy that we're supposed to, that you're supposed to be following, um, does everybody who uses that building, are they required to clean up after? And if not, what is the penalty? Well, they lose. We they, they, yeah. My yeah, we keep the um, deposit that they put on. Our part. But um, they're supposed. To, we have very clear uh, requirements that they, um, when they leave that um, um, event, uh, it should be the same way that they found it. Right. Okay. And what is the policy for the Rock River players when they have had a play? And then the play is over. Well, we haven't done that. It's supposed to be the same. Yeah, it's supposed to be the same. It needs to be the same. Yes, is my absolutely. opinion. Absolutely. Okay, my question is who's supposed to be doing the booking of the space? I do that. Shannon. 
So every event should go to Shan yes. Shannon. Yeah. yeah. Does yeah. it do that? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Including the Rock River players. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She gives me a list, and I make sure it's available. Okay. And then so I have an online calendar that I block out. Yeah. And do you have any kind of a uh, even a small contract where when mm -hmm. they? Oh yeah, they have to. Yeah. Sign. And does well, it say that the, the does it say right. that they are required to clean up? afterwards and if not yes the, but the, we haven't required that of the rock river players okay, so we haven't required a security deposit okay i would i, I, would, I would make a motion yes. to, yes. to yes. include yes. that yes. i think that's very important because yes. i think we've had a complaint mm -hmm. or two about that yes. Yes. yeah i have a complaint in with them right now because you know oftentimes unfortunately they get done the show's over and they just leave yeah, they can't and then, do that. then they come back in two weeks to clean up. Yeah. But that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So was it, was it a, an event from Rock River players that um, yes. oh, that two one, of them now actually. Two? Okay. Yeah. But that so, one time when we gave people money back, yeah. that was just crazy. Yeah. And I don't want to cast aspersions on anyone, but those people were a little wacko. So who's and, checking the space after? Well, that's the, something that like we have to coordinate. Right. Yeah. I think it's very important that the, the, um, Someone up. the Williamsville Hall mm -hmm. work with Shannon yeah. in mm -hmm. coming up yeah. with an official agreement. Right. We have one. We have. Yeah. We, do. we worked on it. Yeah. Well, and do, do you include the cleanup? Yes, it's very, mm -hmm. very good. Okay. Yeah, it's so clean. that has to go to Rock River Play. They're yes. part of the team. That's, okay. that's the yeah. fly in yeah. And it, the idea is that they get the hall room clean, that's it, you know. Right. And they leave it that way. But I will say that one time, even though the people were a little over the top with their idea of clean, yeah. um, it was pretty gross when we went in there. <laughs> it, I mean, there was like soda cans spilled over yeah. and left and dead mice, and it just, it was yeah. not acceptable. Yeah. yeah. So we gave them that concession because they did a great job of cleaning up. I mean, it was beautiful when they yeah. were done. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It was glowing. Wasn't that, I don't ever remember it being that cool. I don't either. But <laughs> so. <laughs> so it was actually made that. Yeah, um, but it costs. So, you so we need to. Oh, sorry. No, you, yes. You go ahead. You, oh, I would yeah. say, Shannon, you need to let me yeah, know. They're, they're going to work on that too. I'll, myself or someone on the committee will go in and check. So yeah. before you yeah. give back to the security deposit, right. we know. Because yes. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then those are the only two problems we yeah. have. And you'll write that in the agreement: security deposit will be returned. It's it's, it's, right it's, in, it's in there. It's yeah. in there. It's okay. a very good agreement. Yeah. It's just that. Because we never charged the Rock River players, they've never done yeah, paperwork. Right. Well, they, they have really to be, should. I would, this is my suggestion, and I, I don't know what the other members of the board say, but I think Rock River players have to have the same mm -hmm. responsibilities yeah. as anybody yeah. else who wishes to do that. Yeah. And I think they should be paying something. Well, I mean, they do because they put it in the, the donation fund. Right. Um, I know we talked years ago yeah. about putting some into the general fund, and I don't know what happened that it yeah. it didn't transpire. They, yeah. but I think they did one or two payments, and then they didn't do any more. Off. Could, yeah. I mean, if it wasn't that for the fact that the money they give to the hall committee to the donation fund that we spend right. on the building, so in a sense they would give us less money and mm -hmm. put more in the general fund. Right. I mean, it's, so, I think it works out pretty well with it's going. Yeah, I'd like to keep it in the building. So. As long as we're budgeting correctly yeah. Yeah. on the revenue side so that we know we're getting fewer rentals. Well, if you have a rental and, and you know, say you take 40, 60 percent of it and you put it in one or the, you know, like 60 60 percent in operating and 40 percent in the uh, capital fund. Do you know no, what I mean? It doesn't work that way. Doesn't revenue that way. is revenue, so right. it comes into the revenue in the general, fund. general fund. Right. It What's can only go into capital. Okay, well, the gen right. Okay, capital. Capital. so general fund would be the capital expense fund? No, general fund. It's just so once it goes into that, it gets lost in anything. Right. It's the right. big bucket that the whole budget is yeah. built around. Right, right, exactly. right. I kind of like it like this. Just once in a while, you see you got a little extra money that they can spend on. Like they did curtains, I think it was, or some other things one time, different things. Yeah, yeah we put the lights in the kitchen. Yeah. That's a number okay. of improvements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
we this, really have to be more aware of the uh, Rock River players yeah. and what they're doing. That's something yeah. that we really have to do. I think that's, you know, yeah. I mean, it's a great thing they're doing, yeah. just, but yeah. we need to be yeah. I've sent an email. on top of it. You know how hard it is. Yes, so to, you. <laughs> yeah, no, to, uh, yeah, to the new director. Yeah, okay. They have a meeting, yeah. and, and we can go right. over all these things. And I like the idea of having them sign a, you know, open-ended security agreement. Yeah, yeah. I guess because yeah. I'm yeah, getting tired of okay. cleaning up. Yeah. Right. And they're, you know, you call something. It, right. They're hard to get a hold of. It's That's not, another. It's not, yeah. and they should. They can't come back, you know, yeah. in a week, yeah. two weeks to clean up. They have to right. clean up the next then, day. Right. 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 right, because especially in the summer, I'm bringing yeah. in rentals yeah. wherever I can get them. Mm -hmm. Sure. And, you know, asking Cecil if they'll sort of sure. move their event, their wedding a week, you know, oh. yeah. out. And so that we have to have it clean as soon as they're done because, you know, people are waiting for that. Yeah, we have to. We also think, you know, like when they block it out, it's three weeks, two weeks before and then the week of the performance. Yeah. I've Talk to them in the first week, probably able to accommodate an event because mm -hmm. they don't have the setup and anything. So I think you know, could work around that and get yeah. more use, more rental. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. yeah. Jay? I just, when you go to budget this year, I'd like you to consider putting fire alarm in there. Mm. It's a huge building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it really, and yeah. I think VLCT will we give us the grant towards part of it. Yeah. Wait, Myra, I'm sorry, I can't hear. I'm sorry, Jack, right. when I you're think talking. VLCT, our, the town insurance, will actually give us a grant for part of it. Oh. Um, yeah. So it would be really good to have some sort of early detection in there. Are you thinking of sprinkling? No, it's just, just, just whatever. Okay. I didn't realize we didn't have that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I, yeah. How about it's extinguishers? Yeah. yeah, it's a 50% so grant, right? 50 Myra, yeah. no more smoking in the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> Are there yes. cigarettes away? Are there extinguishers yes. in the building? Yeah. Yes, okay. there are. Yeah, yeah this, the building's been approved by the fire marshal. I'm surprised you never mentioned that. That's terrible yeah. that we don't have a law. So that would be battery operated or hardwired? It would be hardwired. Okay. Yeah. And would it just, just be an alarm that makes noise or would it, could it, would it be call. connected? No, it would be connected. Oh, oh great. Yeah. Yes, you do. Actually, you can do cellular. Oh, thank oh. You can do cellular now? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, let's do that. That will make me sure. Right. Uh, so that will be put into the budget, Shannon? I'll look in. Yeah, and I'm going to look in and see when the grant is due. Okay. And great. put an application in. Okay, great. Okay. 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 They may I don't know what they're doing. But so, well, I think that would be a good idea. Anybody have anything else to say? So this sounds very good. I want to see you're you doing a great job. Event. Yeah, you really missed some good <laughs> no, food. No, I of uh, uh, the food I didn't come, but I did see the place. <laughs> <laughs> I had on my calendar to go and so I called up the plasmid and said, Oh, let's go to Stratton. Ah. The loud cook. <laughs> so we ended up in Stratton and said and I got on the on the way back. I go, Oh wait a minute, which one are you gonna have in Creole? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they raised it back. Mike just shared a great recipe he's got for yeah. <laughs> oyster stew. Yeah. His own specialty. Gumbo. Yeah. gumbo. Well, there was a woman who came who was at the gumbo fest and went up to John Julian who made the gumbo. He said, I'm from Louisiana. This is the best gumbo I ever had. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Hey, that's good. So you'll have a chance next year. Well, actually, about a month ago, I did make some goddamn good gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> a lot better than my oyster stew turned out. <laughs> <laughs> but the gumbo was good. Same so, with the products. Um, I think you're doing a great job. I thank you very much for everything. We, I mean, I think we're all very impressed with how the building is coming together. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Myra, Myra drove by this morning to go to the post office, right? Yeah. And she right. saw the phone truck and she was... Oh, I got so excited when I saw that truck. We've been waiting years for that truck. Waiting the uh, insulation. And Oh, one other thing I want to mention, uh, Clark Ty, he's, he's become a friend of the hall, <laughs> and he bought this big can of foam. We don't have money in the budget for him to install it, but he told me the other day, well, it has a shelf life, and it's going to expire at the end of December, that he's willing to go in and apply the foam where he was going to, oh. and wait till next year to build the oh. labor. So. That's so nice. Yeah, I wanted to mention this. Now, he knows it would be in July. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not 
Shannon? Yeah. So do we make a motion of that? Are you keeping the building open this winter? Because we would need a motion if you're doing that. Am I keeping the building open? Is the, is, is <laughs> well, here, right? I know. Do I want to keep right? the building if open? If you're doing that, you do need to have a motion to do that. Okay. It. Yeah, we didn't do it last time we were here because yeah. the two guys were here. Yeah. 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 So. Do we need more information? I'll make that motion. Good second that. Okay. Yay. Any further discussion? Yeah. Okay, all those in favor of keeping the Williamsville Hall open this winter, please say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Right. So Thank congratulations you. for everything yeah. you're doing. Great. And we'll, uh, yeah. And See have lots of parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll yeah. be there. Yeah. yeah, that's why I want to get the word out. You know, like, yeah. uh, through our own email list and front porch forum and, and see if we can get an article in the paper. To let people know That's that if they have an event they'd like to have, they can have it at all. Yeah. Well, what would be the eatery? Eatery. Stuff up the, yeah. the eatery, if they were yeah. to have an event, they could use the oh, hall yeah. mm -hmm. to make them aware. I think Wardsworth's been having like a band about once a month up there, mm -hmm. and I guess it's been doing pretty well. Really? Yeah. 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 The password is heat the hall. Yeah. Yeah. That's our slogan. And clean Thank up you. afterwards. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, all. Thank Thank you, you very Steve much. Myra. Thank you, Myra. For Always good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> so basically, I'm ready for payroll. Is that correct? Yeah. Or correspondence, Shannon. Do we have any? I don't have any. I don't think so. So, um, does this mean we're ready to do pay orders? Okay. So, to the audience at home, we say good evening to you. Please drive safely, everybody, particularly now that winter's here, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, you too. Thank you.